Hello, welcome to Puzzle Master. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you the solution for the Hanayama ring puzzle. Now, I'm assuming you'll be able to take this one apart relatively simply. The, the challenge with this one is putting it back together, and I'm gonna show you the simplest way that you can do that. Now, the ring puzzle is a level four out of six on the Hanayama difficulty scale, and it is a level eight out of 10 on the Puzzle Master difficulty scale. And if you don't already have the ring puzzle, then you can pick it up from our website, puzzlemaster.ca. And without further ado, let's get on with putting that ring back together. Okay, so here is a fully assembled ring puzzle. Now, obviously taking this apart isn't the challenge, but while it's in this position, I just want to point out a couple of things. So what we're aiming for when we put it back together is for the two gold bits to be on the inside, the two silver bits to be on the outside. And also we are gonna have to distinguish between the two silver pieces and the two gold pieces. Now the silver pieces I'll go through in a second, but we can see that easier when they are taken apart. But obviously these gold pieces here uh, differ slightly and it's based on where the grooves are. So this piece coming across here has its groove behind it if that makes sense. Whereas this gold piece coming across here has a groove in front of it. So if we take them apart now, what I mean by that is this. So there's that groove in that gold piece and there's a groove underneath here in this gold piece. And that's all we're gonna need to distinguish between those pieces in a second. But first of all, we're gonna look at these silver pieces and you'll notice that the silver pieces can be distinguished because only one of them has the Hanayama engraving in here. And we're gonna take that piece in our hands to start with, and we're gonna focus on this piece, and we're gonna focus around, or building the other three pieces around this silver piece. First of all, we need to get the gold pieces on the right side. So as we are looking at the engraving, we want the groove at the back of the gold piece on the right hand side, the groove at the front of the gold piece on the left hand side. If they are the wrong way around, literally all you have to do is bring it over here and then just spin the silver piece around and you'll be in this position here. So, but we want the it this way around. Once we've got it this way around, we're then gonna pick the gold piece on the right hand side, which has the groove in its back, and we're gonna lay it on top of the silver piece. Now, there's only one way that you can lay this gold piece on the silver piece. So you've got this option or this option, but only one of them actually works. And if you can't get them to lie flat, it's probably because these two pieces are getting in the way. And to get them out of the way, just move them to the front of the two pieces that you're putting together. And yeah, you're good from there. Once we're in this position, we need to do probably the most important move. And we need to move this silver piece that's currently not connected over the top of this silver piece in here. Now to do that, we need to separate the two pieces that we've got together at the minute. But it's important that we do this now because it's much easier to hold and separate two pieces than it is three pieces later on. So once we've separated them, we can then lift this piece up and over the top. And as soon as we've done it, we can clamp back down on these two pieces in here. Once we've got to this position, we usually end up with the silver piece on the right hand side as we're looking at it here, and the gold piece on the left hand side. We need to swap that around by bringing the gold piece through the middle of the silver piece and to this side here. Once we've done that, we're then gonna flip the gold piece over and it's never gonna lie flat, but we wanna sort of arrange it in a position where it is gonna end up. So it doesn't look very clean from this position, but we want to be around here somewhere. And the last move is very simple. All we're going to do is just straighten the silver piece up so that it's level with or exactly opposite the other silver piece. And then all we're going to do is just flip it over the top. And again, the work lies flat immediately. We just need to give it a bit of a shake, get these grooves lined up. And that is how we fully reassemble the ring puzzle. So there it is, that is how you reassemble the ring puzzle. Remember, as soon as you have done it, stick those silver ties on so that it does not lose its position. Now the most important part of this solution is really getting the orientation right 
at certain stages. So once you've got the right silver piece, make sure the gold pieces are on the right side. When you've put the silver piece over the top, make sure the gold piece comes through the silver piece before you then flip it over. As soon as you've got those little differences in the right places, this one becomes relatively simple to do. And it sort of falls together when you sort of flip that last silver piece over the top, which is, which is quite satisfying. Now hopefully this has helped you solve the ring puzzle for yourself. If you want to pick up more puzzles just like the ring puzzle, then check out our website puzzlemaster.ca where we have the biggest variety of puzzles on the internet in the world. Until next time, I'll see you later.